Hello everybody, this is Gino, your friendly Nugget King here for a little educational video. Uh, I've been having a discussion this morning with a fellow prospector, uh, and uh, I guess uh, it was all about the magnetism of platinum, whether all platinum is created equal, whether every platinum nugget is um, magnetic. So uh, I just, uh, for that person's benefit, and as well as our clients, because this is actually a really common question that comes up with uh, Eureka Gold Sands in our Contact Us page at uh, the website, I'm going to do a little demonstration. As you guys know, I have a good stock of platinum nuggets on hand at most times, so it makes it real easy for me. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, have to, I think, switch the camera around. I don't know if we can do that, though. This uh, video may have to come in two parts. Um, let's see here. Actually, no, I could probably do it like this here and kind of film it. It's just kind of hard, but uh, we'll get it together here. So let's see. That's the piece of paper we're going to put our platinum on just to... Keep things, there we go, yeah, I can hold the phone just like that there. And we'll move the paper where you can see it. Okay, what we're going to do is we have a selection of platinum nuggets here. Not all of them are from my area. I do have one from the Yukon here. Uh, it's actually one of Canada's largest platinum nuggets, weighing in at 11 grams. We'll start with him. Uh, when you've got a larger platinum nugget, you know, the odds of having some iron uh, in their FE on your periodic table uh, becomes uh, a greater possibility. So you're going to see that with most larger platinum nuggets, they are magnetic. So uh, anyways, next up is going to be a tulamine platinum nugget. As you can see, this one here still has some magnetite matrix on it. And I'm just going to zoom in there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, how well you guys can see that, but it's got some metal exposed in between. But as you can see, when I bring the magnet close, it doesn't really go. I have to literally touch this thing just to move it. The magnetism in it is minimal at best because this, this particular rock has got a matrix on it that is uh, not as magnetic. It may not be magnetite. It might be a hematite around there or a serpentine, but it's a black stone. I haven't identified yet, but uh, this was hand-panned out of the uh, Tulamine River. And so it's hard to determine whether this one is magnetic due to its uh, matrix stone or whether it's the platinum has some iron in it. And I'm leaning towards the matrix stone because I've run into a lot of platinum in the past where it just doesn't stick to a magnet. So we're going to put that one aside, and got a couple of other, these are from Olivine Creek, these two nuggets. These ones come from uh, my, my, my favorite claim, and as you can see, very magnetic, even though they're small. They went right to the magnet there, and uh, the reason for that is because a lot of the platinum in the Olivine Creek tends to carry that iron. The tulamine platinum tends to have less iron in it. Now, here's another tulamine nugget that I have, and as you can see, it wants to move. It's got a little bit of mag uh, iron in it, but its magnetism, even though being a bigger nugget, i got to go right up to it before it goes to the magnet. So that shows that this one here has got a lower iron content than the others. And just uh, for uh, giggles here, there's a piece of gold, and as you can see, gold is completely non-magnetic. It will not stick to the magnet. Now... Here's where we're gonna where it gets a little bit interesting. I've got a gram of platinum from the Olivine Creek here. I'm just dumping it out on this paper here, fold it into a bit of a V so that we can uh, demonstrate this for you properly. Now this platinum here is quite small. It's about a 20 mesh in size. And what we're gonna do because um, of the difficulty in uh, removing plat small platinum from a magnet, I have inserted a vial over the magnet so that I can pull the magnet out and the platinum will drop into this little tray here. Okay, and I'm going to show you that not all platinum is created equal. This is about one gram of the Olivine Creek platinum, which tends to be a little heavy in the iron, so the majority of this will be magnetic, but I want you to see what's left behind after we go through it a couple of times. But as you can see, we are picking up the majority of the platinum here. And I'm just going to set the phone down briefly while I get this into the tray. I need two hands to do this. I apologize. Hello there. This is Gino, your friendly Nugget King again. Uh, we had a little interruption with my camera there. So uh, we were talking about how all platinum isn't created equal and how some is magnetic and some is not. And just as the phone cut out, we had done our first pass over with the magnet in vial here. And we had picked up the platinum you see in this tray here. I'm going to just demonstrate that again, that the platinum that's in this tray is magnetic. As you can see, it's all 
sticking to our vial here. Now, just lifting the magnet up there, and as you can see, the platinum falls off the vial. That's the purpose for using this, and uh, it allows me to keep the platinum all in one place and uh, not have to pick it individual individual pieces off the magnet. As you can see, we still have some platinum remaining on the paper. We're going to pass the magnet over again. And as you can see, it's leaving some of this platinum behind. And we'll get a close-up in uh, just to make sure you guys can see. You know, it's picking up a little bit of it. So we're going to dump that into the tray again. And we're going to pass the magnet over. And we're going to see if this magnet is capable of picking up every single piece of platinum here. Now, as you can see, it's not picking up those. It picked up a couple of stragglers there, but they're very loosely magnetic. As soon as I touch that magnet up, uh, lift it up a little bit, they fell into the tray. They don't really stick at all. But as you can see, we're rubbing this magnet on the paper right beside this platinum, and it is not moving. So anyways, uh, this video is for my prospecting friend and our clients. I just wanted to show you that not all platinum is created equal. Some of it is non-magnetic. We're just going to zoom in so you guys can see that indeed those are platinum there. You know, the same material you're seeing in the tray here. And uh, these were all collected from uh, the Olivine Creek where I uh, do the majority of my mining. Well, anyways, thank you for tuning in to Eureka Gold Sands YouTube channel. I hope this video was uh, educational and informative to you. And uh, please tune in to Worldwide Patriot Reviews hosted by Eureka Gold Sands on Facebook. Or you can visit our website, EurekaGoldSands.com. Or if you want to personally come and mine some platinum with the Nugget King, visit Nugget Valley Gold Prospecting Venture Adventures.com. Thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are wonderful and know that the Nugget King's got your back.